Welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Now, we've chosen the ladder that we need. We've checked out to la the ladder to make sure that it was safe. And now it's time for us to go ahead and climb. And so there's just a few things that we need to make sure of. Number one, um, make sure that you've got closed toed shoes on with a good you know, rubber sole, something that's non-slip so that you don't slip on the ladder. Make sure that your ladder rungs don't have any oil or, or any other substance on there that could cause the rungs to be slippery. And then there's two rules that we need to remember. The first one is the three foot rule. The three foot rule simply says that at the top of my ladder, wherever that top roof line is, especially on an extension ladder, I need to extend three feet above the top line. That's the three foot rule. And then last is the four to one rule which says for every four feet up, I wanna bring my ladder one foot out. And so we have it marked on the wall here that you can see and they're in four foot increments. And then on the bottom, we have the one foot increments to tell us how far that that has to come out. So I'm a little beyond um, the, third, the third foot out there. I'm kind of halfway in between it. Um, when we look at that, because um, my, my ladder's not quite all the way up at the, at the top. But I just wanted you to be able to see where the mark lines were if you were doing that. What I can tell you that is it's very important for that rule for stability, right? To make sure that our ladder is stable and it doesn't move. However you're, you come to that is completely up to you. But we definitely want to make sure that we're practicing um, safety. Once we get ready to go up, what we're looking for, and I'll show you on this ladder over here, is to make sure that we have and we maintain three points of contact. So when I get ready to go up on the ladder, I'm gonna have both hands on the ladder, and then I'm gonna climb up on the ladder as such, maintaining three points of contact at all time. Now, if I had carrying tools or and I wasn't over the, uh, the load capacity for that ladder, I might have a shoulder strap, and I could have still have three points of contact, two feet and one hand, and I could still do whatever I needed to do um, with my free hand. One of the things I don't want to do is I don't want to lean, right, and cause the, uh, cause the ladder to, to sway over, especially if I'm on an extension ladder. The other thing is something called footing, and I'll show, on this ladder, um, so let's say this were an extension ladder and it was going up. I may have someone at the bottom foot the ladder for me to make sure that the ladder doesn't slip or pull away from the wall. So that person while I was climbing up would keep one foot on the ground, they would hold the other foot there, and then they would stabilize to help stabilize the ladder as I'm climbing up at the top. Now they're not going to follow me up, they're just going to foot the ladder to make sure that it doesn't sway. And then when I got to the top, I could step off safely onto the roof. There's just a few other things that we wanna do and check when we are talking about ladders. Ladder safety is very important. Sometimes we're dealing with very tall heights and we would hate to have someone fall and, and really hurt themselves. Ladder safety is very important. So remember, it's really simple. Let's recap some of the very, very simple rules for ladder safety. Number one, choose the type of ladder that's appropriate for the job. Number two, check the ladder for any safety issues, anything that might compromise the structure of the ladder itself. And when climbing, we've got the three foot rule, three feet above the apex or the top of the roof line, and the four to one rule. For every four feet up, we're gonna come one foot out and then three points of contact at all times. Those are just some of the things that you can do to ensure that you're safe around ladders. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. We'll see you next time. Hey, we absolutely love our HVAC community. We want you to continue to tune in. We want you to continue to, to leave us your, your comments. Um, make sure you click below to subscribe. We definitely want to hear from you, and we'll see you next time.